Hey guys, Alex here from alexvegas.com and yes, uh, February 2023. News and updates in the red light therapy space. So this, this video, uh, we don't have too many new products to talk about, um, but we do have a lot of great content, uh, a lot of great articles recently published um, and a really good study. We're gonna take a good look at this study uh, that looked at um, light therapy on specific acupuncture points for chronic uh, back pain, lower back pain. So I know that's a big one. Uh, we look at a question about red light therapy for particular illnesses. Uh, my thoughts on that. I do a bit of a summary of recently published videos and what's coming up in the not too distant future. And a few other bits and pieces I'll throw in as well. So let's get into it. New products first. Okay, so first up, we have new products by Light Path LED. This is their new diesel range. There is Oh, they've called it their diesel range. So um, there are four options, the diesel large, the diesel de desktop, tabletop, the diesel extra large, and the diesel extra large shorty. Now, of course, each of these is a different size. However, the features are pretty standard across the board. They include pulsing. Uh, so there are 10 preset pulsing rates, which is cool. I like how they've got the preset pulsing rates in there now. Um, of course, there's continuous wavelength as well or continuous pulsing it's not a thing is it continuous light uh, no pulsing and then you've got the ability to set a pulse or frequency rate of anything between one hertz and 9999 hertz which is pretty neat we saw that in the older panels as well but um a few more uh updates in terms of the control panel obviously the panel looks completely different now um new design and they now have three wavelengths so just looking at this real quick, they're using 630, 670, and 810. So it's got an interesting mix there. I haven't seen any panels with only three wavelengths before. Typically you see two, four, or five. Um, so yeah, looks looks pretty neat. They have modular capability. Uh, it comes with door mounts and, and all that jazz. Um, I will get my hands on one and be sure to do a review. Unfortunately, I won't have the uh, tabletop panel for my upcoming tabletop series um, that was filmed late last year currently going through the editing should be up very very soon and this isn't a new product as such but i just want to touch on it uh platinum led obviously late last year they released their new generation panels with the blue lights in it if you order a biomax platinum led biomax panel from today onwards it's going to come with blue LEDs. However, at the time of filming, which is early February 2023, only the Biomax 900 comes with the um, independent switch, so you can disable the blue LEDs. The smaller panels, the 300, 450, and 600, don't have that option, but come March, mid-March 2023, they will. Uh, again, there'll be a full video on this to explain it all. So yeah, that's really all we have on the product side. Uh, now let's move on to new articles. Okay, so we have a few articles to cover here. First up, there's an article about red light therapy beds compared to UV tanning beds. Now, this is over at mitoredlight.com. Uh, I'll put links to all the products and all the articles and all the research papers below. By the way, if you do want to buy any red light therapy panels, be sure to use discount code Alex. We'll save you a little bit of money. Red light therapy beds versus UV tanning beds. Now, this is something that I get asked. Used to be quite frequently. Uh, now it's, I don't know, maybe once a month. Um, so this article goes into the differences. Now, really the main difference is the wavelength of light emitted. Tanning beds use UV light, red light therapy beds use red light and uh, also near infrared light. So you, typically 660 and 850. I think there are some beds out there that use other wavelengths within that red light therapy range. But yeah, that, that's really the big difference. You're not gonna get a tan from sitting and uh, laying in a red light therapy bed and you're not going to get the benefits of red light therapy like the anti-inflammatory benefits by lined in a uv tanning bed but anyway if you want to learn more about this you get check out the article below next up infrared have posted an article titled how to use no gf frequencies and what are they now i've covered this in the past with scott kennedy from light path led i know scott was really big on this uh, i interviewed him i'll put a link to that as well below uh, here's the light path led panel I forgot what it was called large something panel multi-wave pulse panel i don't think it had a specific brand name i uh, actually incorporated nojia frequencies it was the first time i had heard of them in 3d with their new flex range uh, i've reviewed one or two of their panels again links below uh, they now offer the option 
to choose between uh, no pulsing or pulsing from one hertz right through to 9,999 hertz. So you could go in and program that panel to a specific Nogia frequency, tap into the benefits of Nogia frequencies. I don't know enough about it to say strongly it, it provides benefits. Some people really do. Again, check out this article. And if you're really keen, go check out my interview with uh, Scott Kennedy. Okay, next up, Gimbered has an article on using inexpensive 250 watt uh, incandescent heat bulbs. Um, these mostly, mostly emit near infrared light, but also a little bit of mid and far range uh, infrared light. So Andrew has done, Andrew Latour from Gimbered has done a, a really good job testing um, a bunch of these heat lamp bulbs. Pretty much found that, look, they're all very, very similar. You don't have to spend big bucks. I'll put the link to that below. There's, there's a lot of great content in here if you're into heat lamps and you want to know a bit more about it, head over to gimbered.com and um, check it out. Platinum LED have put up another article on blue light therapy. Now, of course, their new range includes blue uh, blue LEDs or blue LEDs that emit blue light, 480 nanometers to be precise. So they are putting out quite a bit of content on the topic of blue light, which is understandable because it is a new thing for the red light therapy space. So there's a bit of education. Um, and at the same time, there are... A, well, there is a lot of confusion and I don't want to use the word misinformation, but yeah, confusion is the right word. Now, I've tried to cover some of this in my reviews and the video that is coming out soon. Um, Platinum have done a reasonably good job of, of covering the topic as well. Uh, I haven't read this article in depth, the myths, myths about blue light therapy, so I can't say 100% on point based on my understanding or, or whatnot, but it looks pretty good. And pretty much it's just, it's just saying, look, blue light, that they've used is in like super damaging that a lot of people think. Uh, I, I see a lot of people like, oh my God, blue light, horrible, can't go near it. Uh, and it's not necessarily as simple as that. Like not all blue light is bad. Um, sorry, I think that's what Platinum are getting at in, in this article. Again, links below, go check it out. All right, now Rude Care, they have revamped their website. It's quite a nice looking website. It contains a lot of new additional information, especially on their new G3 series. Leave a comment below if you are keen for me to try review one of their new panels. And they've also written a blog post titled, Why You Might Want to Opt for a Red Light Therapy Bed. So their argument here is you get a lot more LEDs. So they say, and I quote, when compared to panels, it is important to consider the difference in proximity. Panels never touch the skin and they're not designed to. Additionally, beds will have between 3,000 and 45,000 LEDs, uh, is that a typo? Uh, depending on the model, compared to the panels which have anything between say 60 and 1,000 LEDs. Uh, so the light density of beds is much greater than the panels. That's true, you get a larger coverage area. Um, of course, the main issue with beds is space and price. It's just simply not practical for a lot of people. But hey, check out the article, check out the new website, check out their new uh, product range and be sure to su subscribe so when I do review one, uh, you'll know all about it. Okay, so this month's study is titled The e Efficacy of Invasive Laser Acupuncture in Treating Chronic Nonspecific Low Back Pain, a Randomized Control Trial. Now, it's important to note that this study looked at the use of acupuncture, but then the photobiomodulation, the red light therapy or, or laser therapy that they were using in this instance. I'll just note that yes, it was specific targeted uh, laser or, or red light therapy treatment on specific points, not a full panel, but there are some great takeaways from this, okay? So we know that uh, lower back pain or chronic non-specific lower back pain, as it's technically called and uh, referred to in the study, it affects a lot of people. You probably know someone that suffers from it or maybe you do yourself. This study said that 85% of people experience it at some point in their life, 23% uh, have chronic pain, and about 10 to 12% are partially disabled by it. Uh, the majority of these cases are non-specific and difficult to treat. So the researchers used uh, a VAS scale to measure pain intensity and then other questionnaires. And what they found is that yes, the intervention group that had treatment with 660 nanometer light, which is your most common red light, um, pretty much every red light there, I think every red light therapy panel on the market has 660 nanometers. They had uh, a significant decrease in pain intensity and a decrease in disability at, <clears throat> at week four and week eight. Okay, now we cover this month's question. Now, if you do have any questions on red light therapy, 
leave them below in the comment section. You can email us or contact us through the website. I do respond to every comment I receive. Typically it's every Monday afternoon. I'm playing catch up at the moment because I took a few weeks off and there's still hundreds of comments I've got to get through, but I will get there eventually. Uh, so this week's question isn't necessarily a specific question from one person. Hey Alex, I've got a, an illness, a disease, a, a problem or an injury, for instance. How can I use red light therapy to fix it? And what wavelengths and dosage and all that. We get these questions a lot. I don't know if anyone can really give you a, a clear answer on this stuff, even the guys researching this stuff. So look, let's take an example here. Uh, my son is epileptic. I wanted to go deep on red light therapy for epilepsy. So with the help of my team, got a bit of a breakdown here of the process we went through. So first we needed to go through all the published literature on epilepsy and red light therapy. And then we needed to draw conclusions based on the collection of studies that you know were worthy to investigate. Now, when it comes to red light therapy, there are literally thousands of studies out there. The best that we can often do is just refer you to the data sheet that uh, Vladimir Heiss, I don't know how to say his last name, I apologize. Anyway, he's created an online database with all of these studies. Now I'll put a link to that below and it allows you to go in, do a, do a search in there for your condition and you can look at the studies. He's done summaries and highlighted them to see if it was beneficial or not. I don't want to leave this to be too negative or you know, you're thinking, oh, I can't figure it out myself. The panels that are on the market now are putting out a good level of power of, of, of radiance and that come in with multiple wavelengths as well. So chances are if you go out and get a panel that's done well in my reviews or comparison series, it's probably gonna help, okay, in some way. It may not be that magical cure, but it's probably gonna help. So yeah, to summarize, I, I do, I feel your pain um, and I feel sorry when I say, look, I, I can't really help you, but this may help you. You know, I wish I could say, look, use this and, and cure all your problems. Um, it's just too tricky. And at the same time, there's also liability and health liabilities and medical risk if, you know, if I start saying, look, five minutes of this with this wavelength is gonna cure cancer or whatever, you know, something like that. I know I'll get in hot water and uh, I don't wanna mislead you guys as well. So that's another reason why we, we have to be a little bit careful with what we say. However, <clears throat> we do want to put out some more blog articles on some of these topics, some things that we can really stand by and say, look, it's quite clear that this protocol is helping with this problem. So expect to see more articles on that uh, over at alexfix.com. So be sure to subscribe to my email list. All right, so that brings me to the end of the video. I just want to run through a few videos and uh, blog articles that have recently been published or about to be published. So um, we've got an, a video on panels versus tabletops coming out, uh, the Juve Mini 3.0 video. Um, the new Rojo 300, which is from an Australia slash New Zealand company, are uh, really cool uh, for, for guys that live in this part of the world. You know, now you can, well, there's, there's an option for you. Um, if there wasn't already, uh, it's something I, I will look into a bit more this year, you know, start looking at more geographic, uh, region specific, um, options, you know, the best European red light therapy companies, the best American ones, the best Oceana ones, that sort of thing. So be sure to subscribe if you want to know more about that. Uh, we've got the Alibaba red light therapy panel review that did really well. And, and I got some great feedback there. So I'll, I'll take all of that on board. Omni Lux Men, the mask review that's up now as well. Uh, we've got the Biomax 300 reviews coming out soon. Uh, if not already, uh, we have a sports performance blog red light therapy and sports performance blog coming out um, by Bart. So that will be up soon as well. And then we have my tabletop comparison series. Now I was hoping to get that on February. I'm going to push it back to March now, just because um, there's been a few little changes and, and I want to make sure everything's as relevant as possible. Cool. So that's everything. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, if you want to, if you want to purchase any red light therapy device, be sure to use this guy and go to Alex. I'll put links to all the resources below. Uh, one thing I'll say real quick, um, I need some help. So I'm working on a new office space and I want to do something with the background. At the moment, it's just a plain white background. Uh, I light it up for these news videos so they look a little bit different. Love to hear your thoughts whether I should keep doing that or not. But I want to do something uh, a little bit nicer uh, in the new space. I just have no idea how. Um, there's some really cool you know, backdrop videos out there and they got some really neat ideas and you know, people have bookshelves and... Uh, um, fancy artwork and all sorts of, uh, in their background and they light it up really nice. I don't really have the creative mindset um, 
to come up with a neat idea. So if anyone out there has some ideas for me, I'd love to hear them. Um, and we'll see how things play out. All right, guys, I'm signing off. I'll see you all later and uh, enjoy your red light sessions. Bye.